Oh, beautiful and lovely gamers. My name is Jonal. As a, what can I say, um, guy that has been trying to learn Tracer for quite a while now and, you know, really started to get good with her, really started to get into her. I want to talk about one of the, the things that I always had a problem with, and that is Pulse Bomb. And uh, a trick that, you know, I kind of learned that works very well to get a more consistent pulse bomb. Now, this is not something that you should spam and, you know, only do this one. I think that using pulse bomb is very situational which kind of aiming technique you should use. But it's a trick that I personally like very much using both in my ladder games and something that I have lately been starting to practice quite a lot. Essentially, I like to call this like the drive-by pulse bomb because uh, it, it, it's it's kind of what you do. Now, it's a very, very simple trip. You do, of course, need to practice it. And if you want to do that, then just go into a custom game, spawn some honor bots, put it on skirmish, give Tracer, you know, put her ult charge at like 500% so that she just builds it after like, you know, shooting, you know, an honor like three times in the head. And there she go, you will have your pulse bomb. And then you just spam practice this until you feel very, very comfortable with it. Now, it's very very simple and it looks very much like uh, other pulse bomb techniques essentially when you press you know the old button the q button uh, for tracer she will kind of reach her hand will kind of reach in her pocket she will pull out the pulse bombs and kind of like I, I wouldn't say toss it exactly as far as short it goes way to show for calling a toss but she kind of lobs it you know or drops it on the enemy team right so essentially you know there is a there's a, a technique where you if you know the exact blink distance of yourself you press Q and then you blink and then you know you kind of end up right in front of the target and then you know you can't just like stick it with no travel time in between the toss and then you can recall straight back. Now the, if you want to do that you need to be able to really adjust you know you really gotta kind of understand um, the exact blink range you know both standing still and while you're moving. And it's very difficult for a lot of people, so I kind of made a, what can I say, a budget version. That does not mean that you should not learn this other technique, but I made a budget version of it. And this is the drive by version, so essentially you press Q, as you can see on the screen, and there will be a bunch of footage of me doing this on some bots. So you press Q, then you not blink once, you blink twice, right? So you kind of, when she kind of reaches in her pocket, and immediately when you press Q, you also, you know, she reaches in her pocket, you blink two times, you know, and then you kind of you kind of just drive by the enemy. Of course, the enemy needs to be right around that, you know, half meter mark. So you almost do, you know, the, the, the single blink stick. The only thing is that you get a little bit more range with this, you get a little bit more room for error, and you don't have to, you know, 100% blink, uh, well, think about, you know, okay, I can exactly reach this with one blink, because, you know, with the extra blink, you at least make sure you get enough range and i find this to be much easier and a much more consistent way of doing this this is um something if you watch me when i'm live on twitch and i'll link that down in the description if you want to see me live uh, it's 8 p.m norwegian time almost every day except tuesdays and thursdays i do this you know quite sometimes when i play tracer it is something of course that you need to to really get into i'm personally not a hundred percent master this it's not a hundred percent consistency post bump will never be a hundred percent consistency but is it super easy to manage to do on you know some of these smaller targets you know such as you know anas and sinyatas and and you know soldier 76 and mccrees and hell even someone like asaria which is you know can be quite difficult to actually stick um especially you know if you're not that comfortable with it so i hope that this helps a little bit I hope you like this trick for tracer if you didn't like and dislike if you didn't drop down your comments if you have any of your personal tricks that you would like to share with the world, especially when it comes to Tracer. And if you have any topics that you want me to cover, you can either subscribe to us onto us on our Discord server, where you can just drop them under and, you know, ask if, if I can cover a topic, or you can drop them down in the comments on this video, and I will definitely either try to answer or make a video on the topic. Besides that, guys, thank you so much for uh, supporting the channel. I love you very much. My name has been Jonah. Take care of yourself and keep the enemy in your crosshair. Uh -huh.